Well hello there and welcome back to another C sharp tutorial from Uncle Crellen. The sun is shining brightly here in the UK. We have some white fluffy clouds and some nice blue sky. Therefore I am a happy chappy. So today we're going to be covering extension methods in C sharp. So what specifically is an extension method? Well, according to Microsoft, an extension method enables you to add methods to existing types without creating a new derived type, recompiling or otherwise modifying the original type. Extension methods are a special kind of static method, but they are called as if they were instance methods on the extended type. For client code written in C Sharp and Visual Basic, chic, there is no apparent difference between calling an extension method and the methods that are actually defined in a type. So lots of words all jumbled up makes absolutely no sense to the layperson. So let's try to break that down into some type of simplistic term for people like myself who believe in practical experience over theoretical experience. Okay, so let's get serious for a minute. Extension method. So first thing we want to do, create a new project. And we are going to create a console application. And we are going to click OK. And then within here, we will get the uh, formalities out of the way, which are going to be cancel dot right. No, not right line, read line. Parentheses, semicolon. OK, so. For those who have never written a console application before, console.readline waits for a keyboard input or key to be pressed. Um, and what it does or has the desired effect of doing is holding the console screen on screen for the duration until such time that the key is pressed. So let's press start and here you go. Kerching and then when I press key, Bosh your uncle, okay? Now, if that wasn't there, the minute you run the application, bosh, it's gone, okay? Bit pointless, really, so. Let's put it back in. And let's start thinking about our extension method. Now, the extension method really is quite simple. What we are going to do in our example, I think, is add a method to the string object within C sharp and we are going to have it display a little message for us. So we're going to have a custom method. So you know string, you've got string dot split string, you've got string dot whatever. And we are going to add a new method to the string called string dot display custom message. And we are going to have it display a custom message for us when we call that method. So that is going to be so easy to do. The first thing you need to do is create a class. And uh, we need to make the class public. And we need to make it static. OK, so that's very important. And then we can call it uh, whatever you like. Whatever you like. We're going to call it extension methods. OK, and then we put some curly braces in there. Ah, okay, so spot the obvious mistake. Class arf arf. Okay. So now within here we have to add obviously our extension method. That is going to be easy as well. So you make it public and you also make it static. Again, very important. Public, static. And we do not want it to return any values and we want to call it display custom message okay got a parentheses and then some braces okay now inside of here we need to type this that is also absolutely critical string uh, our message Okay, and then down here, we just want to display our message. Now we're going to display the message in the console, so we're going to do console.writeline, on, on, parentheses, semicolon, and within here, we are going to put our message. 
it is as simple as that okay so first things first let's correct our spelling mistake for custom then secondly let's enter the um, or let's uh, implement our custom method so all being well we should now be able to declare type string and uh, we'll call this our string equals quotes hi fox false folks exclamation exclamation say my colon and then down here we should be able to do uh, our string dot and then in here our string is called display custom message so in here we should have an IntelliSense for our custom message display custom message okay and then we just need to wrap some parentheses around that terminate it with a semicolon and that's it so that's the important thing there look the fact that it now appears in the IntelliSense so all of these methods are specific to the string object or string class and what we've essentially done is added our own unique custom method also known as an extension method so we've essentially extended the methods of string and we've given it our own custom method okay? how cool is that so now when we run that all being well we should see hi folks on the con on the console there you go hi folks worked like a charm that is all there is to it believe it or not and you can just add and add and add so we can copy this we can add another extension method and we can do whatever we like display a message we can concatenate strings we can split strings we can do whatever we want to do whatever you do with a normal method you can actually add as an extension method to any of the C sharp objects so we'll call this display custom message 2 and then we will um, go back to the uh, the main class sorry the main method here and again our string and this time we should have display custom message too so you can go on infinitum it really is that simple guys so uh, yeah I think that's it so uh, enjoy yourself extending your methods and uh, hopefully we'll catch up again at some point in the future so uh, don't forget to thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more all the best for the future folks until next time bye for now